Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing an Outlaw Trails role-playing game story. It's a continuation of the campaign, Earl's game. Um, I'm kind of titling this one, <laughs> The Rustler's Roundup. The four of us, Kevin, Larry, Bobby, and I, rode out of Santa Fe in search of a gang of rustlers. The, the, the rustlers had taken out all the lawmen, and so John had decided to stay behind and, and take up the sheriff's job. Um... We all went after the reward. The reward was three hundred dollars each, and the talk was that they were there were twenty of them. That amounted to fifteen hundred dollars each. We were stoked. Larry and Bobby were our best trackers, and we knew where they were last seen, so that's where we were heading. It was a six-hour ride to the last pet place, the pat pat bit, the last pasture that they had been seen at, and the trail they left herding 200 head of cows was unmistakable. We really didn't need trackers to follow that trail. It was it was easy, you know. We'd laid in supplies for a three-week trip so we could move faster without having to hunt or forage. Moving that many cows is not a speedy proposition, so we were quickly gaining on them. It stood to reason that an outfit that big would have a leader who was smarter than the average bear, and Larry <laughs> figured that they would be leaving people on guard or, or having lookouts, so he spotted their rear guard on a hilltop watching for anyone trailing behind them. Bobby, whose character was part Ute Indian, snuck up and knifed the guy. His horse was there, and we tied him over the saddle to bring along, because he was, you know, he was worth 300 bucks. The next day, we came across the herd. They were grazing along a river, and the rustler's camp was there as well, there were ten men in camp, and they were making beans and relaxing. The rest were riding the edges of the herd to keep them pinned up. Bobby and Larry said that they could take out the riders if Kevin and I could cover the camp. Uh, I don't recall which one it was, but somebody mentioned that we had to make sure these were actually rustlers and not just actually, you know, cowboys. So, uh, Bobby's character, snuck being, you know, the sneaky one, snuck down there and figured out that there were uh, brands from a number of different cattle and they were had an operation where they were changing brands so we knew that was them um, Earl the game master took uh, Bobby and Larry into the other room for about an hour Kevin and I had a good position overlooking the river from a high point and we had rifles I had purchased a Henry rifle so if any of the men left the camp, we could see it. When Earl came back, he explained that Bobby and Larry had been gone about 45 minutes and several members of the gang at the camp had stood and were looking around. One of their riders appeared about a mile off and waved. They waved back and sat back down. They figured everything was okay. Bobby showed up at our spot sometime later. He explained that the rider who waved was really Larry in, in one of their coats and hats riding one of their horses. So they had eliminated the outriders. Bobby and Larry were very good at this game. Larry's plan called for Kevin and I to wait there and pick off the fleeing rustlers. I asked what they were going to be fleeing, and he replied, you'll see, and then he was gone. So we waited around. Fifteen minutes later, gunshots spooked the cattle, and they stampeded directly through the camp. Kevin and I had a field day picking off the rustlers as they scrambled to avoid the stampede. All told, we managed to get the rear guard, the nine outriders, and seven of the ones in camp. Three of them managed to escape somehow, or maybe they were just stomped into a mud hole and we couldn't find them. Either way, you know, we got the bulk of them. We carried the 17 bodies back to Santa Fe, along with the location of the cattle so that the ranchers could go get their, their herds back. We get, we carried those 17 bodies back to Santa Fe. We collected $5,100. Split four ways was $1,200 each with a $150 bonus each for Bobby and Larry who, who had done the lion's share of the work. And they, they certainly earned it. We, uh, we were back in Santa Fe. We had money in our pockets and we could take it easy for a little bit. But we noticed that the the attitude around Santa Fe had changed, and we weren't sure exactly why. But we're going to get into that in the next video. So, <laughs> uh, 
I hope you're enjoying this campaign because it was so much fun playing it. Hope this finds everybody well. You folks have a good one. God bless one and all. Vanguard 1, Devo Poland, a scientific representative from a pacifist race called the Gandiri, has come to Earth to learn the one thing that humans do better than anyone else in the galaxy, to fight. In the sequel, Task Force Terminus, Earth is at war with an alien race called the Imdola. Devo Poland's new commission in the Terran fleet exposes him to bigotry and treachery, and he comes to realize that sometimes political and military maneuvering are one and the same.